The Giant Dolls House project started um, after I finished my PhD by design, which I did on dolls houses and the dolls house as a way to change things and also by miniature as a way of, of depicting whole scenes. So originally the dolls house was seen as, as domestic and only for girls, but actually the dolls house can also project a better future. The idea of the dolls house is that anyone can make their own dolls house. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are. And every doll's house has its own story. The doll's houses don't have to be the best they can. It can also be the mood that people are in that day. And we all put them together into a community. The community then shows that everybody is actually equally idiosyncratic. And over the years, the project has become more and more also a way of giving maybe a voice to people or stories who don't always have a voice. So the idea, there's no judgment in the doll's house. Anyone can make one and it doesn't matter how old, where you're from, but it's, it's like what a community should be, actually. Today we did a workshop at the building center and we asked different people to come and make doll's houses. Some were architects, there was a grandma with a granddaughter, there was a woman who was a teacher and then there were a number of, of people who've recently arrived from, from Calais. What we try not to do is ask leading questions. So we always ask questions where people can actually make what they feel like making. Uh, a long time ago, we went to Zatari with Oxfam and we asked also the people there, what do you want people in London to know about you? That way you don't ask any leading question. It's not about being pity and people can say what they want to say. So we always try to frame the questions in such a way that people can do with it what they want. We've used the Dolls House project in universities for students to get their first ideas out, but also we found when we actually were working in Zatari that people told stories they usually would not have told because by making and thinking and looking at what you do and thinking again and then talking, the Dolls House becomes a story. And also for children it's good because if you want to make a chair you have to think how to put the chair together, it has to stand up, how do you glue it, how do you make the junctions between the legs of the chair and the chair. So it has a real practical side, but it also has a, has a narrative side. And especially when you then put them together into a community and they all sort of are linked with the ladders, it also can help people make stories. So I think it's learning-wise, it, it's useful on, on many levels.